Welcome to Going the Extra Mile, a podcast brought to you by New Leaf Training and Development. Each edition is sure to lift your spirit and encourage you in today's working world. Enjoy. Happy at home, happy at work. I have no mother-in-law jokes. I just simply don't. Why? Well, you see, I love my mother-in-law. I've only ever had one and only plan to have one. She's the same one I've had now for 27 years. I not only love my mother-in-law, but I also deeply admire her. See, love and admiration can be two different concepts, but Josie, my mother-in-law, receives both accolades from me. Although now retired, I believe many of today's working women can still learn a lot from Josie. As a wife of 55 years, her and my late father-in-law raised three children, Simon, Richard, and their little sister, Gaynor, who became my wife. All three of her children have themselves made significant contributions to the world of commerce, let alone demonstrating themselves to be sterling spouses and intentional parents. While the children were young, Josie worked part-time to help with the household income. Her priority was always her parenting, but where there was an opportunity to carve out some time to earn a little extra something to help build the family budget, she would and she worked. From hairdressing the neighbours to helping out at the local bridge club, she did what she could, when she could. As the children grew into adults themselves, Josie went to work part-time for a store that no longer exists. A place where people used to actually take photographic film to be produced and printed. If you remember those, you're at least as old as me. The regional management saw her potential and offered her a full-time position, which she accepted. Before long, she was promoted to become manager of the store and she supervised three employees, managed inventory and took the lead role on welcoming people into the store. These tasks were second nature to her as a wife, mother, neighbor and friend. See, Josie knew how to welcome people into her home, so she did the same in the store. Josie knew that each of her children were different and so she supervised each of her employees differently. Josie knew how to manage a pantry, and so she had no problems with inventory. Her wisdom from her primary role as a homemaker served others well in her role as a workplace supervisor. If you're a person of faith, I believe Josie would fit the profile of the woman mentioned in Proverbs 31. I'm sure in 2022, there are some maybe younger readers thinking this story is quaint and cute, but somewhat patriarchal. And to some extent, that would be true. My father-in-law was the primary breadwinner. He was in the traditional sense, the head of the family. But like the old saying goes, make no mistake, Josie was the neck. They were a team and together they were an economic unit. But first and foremost, a loving, caring and fun family to be in and with. So much of who we are and how we are at work comes from who we are and how we are at home. One of my mottos has always been happy at home, happy at work. Sadly, I found that when some people focus too much on the latter, the former suffers. But interestingly, When we do prioritise our marriage, our family and our neighbourly relations, our work seems to work better. It's almost as if effective workplace performance and workplace relations are just the fruit that falls from the tree when we sow the seed and till the soil at home first. It's like an inside out approach. So in conclusion, that's why I have no mother-in-law jokes. And I hope that Josie is just as much of an inspiration and a role model to you as I know she's been to me and my wife, her daughter, Gaynor. I hope you found that short story useful. And if you did, feel free to rate, review, and share this podcast. We'll be back next week with another episode, and we also invite you to check out our other weekly podcast, Take 5, an inspiring interview with a leader worth listening to. Bye for now.